Great week. This has been such a great week. John, we've had a great week. Listen, TGIF, you ended this premiere week with a vengeance. You came back this week like a woman ready to get back to work. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny because we've been off all summer, so getting back into the groove yeah. of doing a talk show, like, you know. Now, now we know what school teachers go through being up for nine months and down for three, you know? <laughs> And then they got to come back yeah. to the kids. So yeah, so we're, we're finally, we're, we're finally, we hit our stride. And uh, I realized though that we've been going because it's been so much to cover. I haven't said hi to the other two part of the necessary um, people in the family, Marco G and DJ Sus One. <laughs> I was looking at Sus One. If you follow him on, on his social media accounts on Instagram, you'll see he's been working out and on a serious health journey. You look good, Thank son. you, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you, got you looking Thank you. good. Slim one, slim one. I don't know if I, I don't want to, if, if, like, what's been going on? You've been working out hard? Every day I'm up at 4.30 in the morning in that gym. Yeah. I haven't had, I haven't had soda or juice since April. Okay. Oh. I'm very limited on the carbs, and I'm down 60 pounds. Hey! Sup? And I have to say, I've been seeing, like, the your arms are like, oh, my God. I don't know Looking if you want to show, like, show you some of your guns. <laughs> you you going to... Jerry, I can see the floor now. I can see the floor. You can see the floor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. But I even, you, when you were working out at the gym, I was like, sus, you are now climbable. I, oh! All right. <laughs> like before, before you still look good, but if the person try to climb, they slide down. She slide down. Oh. Now, like you, you got all of these indentations on your thighs and your arms. <laughs> you got grooves for feet to keep going up your body. So you look, you look amazing. You I look great. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You look so good. Congratulations. <laughs> 60 pounds is not easy, so congratulations easy. to you. Thank you, I appreciate you. Oh, my goodness, and Marco G over there flexing still. Marco G, how you doing over I, there? I'm doing well, Sherry. I, I missed you, I missed everybody. I try to, I had a very, uh, very mindful, very demure summer, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, the mind, okay, I don't believe that for a moment. You're right, I was in the streets, Sherry, yeah! <laughs> Your beard is shining, your locks is flowing. You've been getting, yeah, you've been in the street. I appreciate like, you, yeah. <laughs> in the gym, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> y'all, so, uh, so it's good to see all of y'all and both of y'all for y'all to be back. Thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> gosh. Now, um, I was reading this. Lizzo, who I follow on social media, she is showcasing her dramatic weight loss as well. Look at her in a new TikTok video, and she's clapping back at her haters. So she posted a video wearing, this is her Yiddy shapewear, you better go. And she also shut down rumors about her using Ozempic for her transformation, uh, saying she's been, uh, people are saying, uh, accusing her of taking Ozempic despite 
five months of weight training and calorie deficit. So, Lizzo, I say, you know what, don't worry. Whenever people lose weight now, we automatically start saying that they've been on Ozempic instead of giving them the credit of actually working out. And, like, sus, you've been working out every day, going to the gym, you're cutting out sugar. So, you know, whoever's taking it is not, is not my business, if you're taking it or not. What I would say is I'm diabetic, and y'all not leaving enough Ozempic and Mujaro for me. You know, because my doctor put me on Munjara over the summer, and do you know how many pharmacies I had to go to to get the box of Munjaro because it was not available? And by the way, I used it for one month. I only lost one pound. <laughs> I lost one pound on Munjaro, but my blood glucose is fabulous. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Mine, that blood sugar is, is doing great. Uh, but whatever Liz is doing, I believe she's doing it very healthy because you can, there's a certain look when you're taking too much. I see Lizzo on in the Instagram working out all the time. And sometimes you'll see people in the gym, uh, on, they'll, they're posted. They don't even look like they've been working out. But because there's a certain look you get when you're working out. Like, you see where she's sweating from her shoulders? Sweat is coming down from her shoulders. There's the sweat that comes between, the, that space between your back and your booty. It's always that sweat. <laughs> Right there. It's always the sweat between your boobs when you're working out. Because the sweat comes out. And you know, and I see people, they'll be at the gym and they're all glammed up, long hair. They got two little weights in their hand. Just be like, oh, oh, I got a weight, it's two pounds. What is you doing? So I've seen Lizzo getting progressively smaller. You can see she's putting up the work. And also she's doing Pilates, which is supposed to really help you. She's doing Pilates. Okay. Now I gotta say, I also do Pilates. I have not lost a pound doing <laughs> Pilates. I quit every single week trying to do Pilates. But I always tell people, this is what I tell people. If you're gonna take those semi-glutide injections, you gotta work out so you don't lose your muscle mass. Because that is what happens. It's this mind-gut connection. Your mind tells your gut that you're not hungry. You still have to eat, but what you want to do is you got to change the way you eat. So if you're going to take the injections because it is an approved weight loss drug so that it makes you lose weight, you got to work out because you start, you start shrinking. You start shrinking in was like this, and your face starts looking like that. And you're looking at you like, I, I know I'm skinny, but I, <laughs> I, I feel like I'm going to pass out. <laughs> like, you don't want to look like that. You don't want to look like that. And then you're like, and then I, the way I've lost weight is I've climbed the Himalayan mountain. <laughs> No, just keep working out so, you, so you're toned underneath the weight loss. So, and that's what I like about Lizzo. Lizzo is thick, she's toned, and she's like, she's looking good. So I love that. I love that about her. Like, uh, my girlfriend, she's been on the show, Yamanika Saunders. She works out, she works out every day in the gym, and I see her, she at the gym. Like, she's lost so much weight from when she was first on the show with us. So, she's lost all the weight being healthy, working out at the gym, eating right, because Yamanika can't afford the Ozempic, okay? <laughs> so, she's doing, she's doing it that way, and I'm so proud of Yamanika, the way she looks and how she's been working out. <laughs> So whatever Lizzo is doing is none of my business. As long as you're doing it healthy, you're doing it, you know, and for those of you who are doing the semi-glutide injections, do it under a doctor's supervision and keep on change your lifestyle so that when you come off of it, you look, you feel amazing. You look great. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my gosh. It, I, you know, I got so excited. I could feel my wig coming off. I oh, swear to God. Yeah. We, not this I think season, I... Sherry. Not this season. <laughs> no, it is like that. Wait till November sweet. I know Theo is yeah. in the back screaming in horror. <laughs> Wait, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna just pull it down just a little bit. <laughs> I'm just pulling it down just a tiny little bit. Okay, we're good. Uh, <laughs> it, y'all, it has been such a great premiere week. I want to thank you all for joining me for the best time in daytime. <laughs> I really, really do. And speaking of time, I have a little gift of time for my studio audience. And our friends at MorningSave.com, they are giving everyone in my studio audience the Covent Watch from oh. London Fog. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> and they come in silver, gold, or rose gold. And they normally retail for up to $180. 
These retail for up to $180. And for you at home, scan the QR code on your screen or go to MorningSave.com for an exclusive deal that is up to 89% off. So this is for you in our studio audience. We love you so much. Oh my gosh. So y'all, we have a great show for you today because later on, actress Jenny Garth is here. But up next, the very funny Wanda Sykes is here. Spend your days with Sherry. I want to be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's an all-new week with Alyssa Milano, Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg, Don Lemon, and Raven Simone. Monday's live. Uh-huh. excited because my first guest, she is the type of friend who makes me belly laugh in the middle of a crowded restaurant. She's a legendary stand-up comedian, a gifted actress, and an Emmy award-winning writer. Please welcome the hilarious Wanda Sykes. <laughs> Some gifts, cause this is your, your you know first week back. So um, okay, but some, some flowers and uh, here's a pillow. Okay. <laughs> All right. The, the last time um, you stole something from my green room and gave it to me as a gift, did you do the same thing again? Cause it looks so familiar. <laughs> did you steal this from my green room? Maybe. <laughs> I, I thank you for the gift. It's the thought, it's right? It's the thought that counts. Uh-huh. You're just a kleptomaniac, Wanda. <laughs> I love you. Oh, my God. You know what? We have so much fun together. I love being around you. We, you remember uh, we had such a great night out the last time we yes. got together? Yes. We yeah. had dinner. I took y'all to this little uh, French restaurant it was French in restaurant. our hood. It was, uh, who um, was it? Uh, it was with us. Uh, Lonnie. Lonnie Love. and Kim uh, Whitley. Kim Whitley. And it was you and uh, me. Yeah. And, oh, what, did Sybil oh. join us? Was no, Sybil... no, it was Kim Coles. I no. think it wasn't, it wasn't Kim uh -uh. Coles. It, it was Sybil Wilkes. It oh, was my Sybil. God. Oh, my gosh, Sybil Wilkes. Uh -huh. So we all went out to a... You took us to a French restaurant. Right, right. And I didn't know anything on the menu. Y'all act like uh, that y'all uh, were actually in France. It was... I uh, know. <laughs> I thought y'all were reading the menus all upside down. I didn't know and, well, nothing. Wanda, what's this? I'm like, uh, it's, it's just food. It's, uh, <laughs> I didn't know it what was it great. was. We had we, a great time. We did have a good time. And I remember, because we, we were talking about baby going on the road together. Right, You remember right. you wanted everybody to sing the national anthem? You, that's what you wanted. You did. You, you... The, the Negro national anthem. Yes. yes. <laughs> the real one. I said. The real one. <laughs> She was like, and I want the lyrics. Yeah. I want everybody to have the lyrics. <laughs> so we just had a good time. And um, that I, was I'm, after several bottles of champagne that and was, wine. Uh, that yeah, we, we came really, up with that, that genius idea. That you came yeah, up with, uh, that, genius came with that genius idea. idea. And, and uh -huh. we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. And you had to drive me home that night, and I, I believe. To, I had yeah. to drive you home that night. Uh -huh. You never stopped talking, I know. Wanda. I know. <laughs> The yeah. whole night. We had a little gospel hour, too. You, I, I, I never uh -huh. knew you knew so many gospel I, songs. Absolutely. Wanda sang all of the gospel greats. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, you, you And then it. you forgot your key, and we had to bring you back to the hotel. <laughs> I mean, to the restaurant. <laughs> they had closed up. It was just people cleaning. And Wanda was banging on the window going, my key! I can't get in the house. <laughs> let clean, let clean. Let, <laughs> let... But, you know, it was so funny because I, I just always keep eyes on you. I love you so much. And the other day, I was recording a promo about you. Uh -huh. And somebody told me, it was a fan of yours, told me that you were dressed somewhere like Ike Turner and you were on Fire Island. Yes. Okay, you were on oh, yeah, Fire that's Island. It. Sherry Grove playing the drums. Playing the drums. Uh -huh. Like, what, what was... <laughs> That, that's a lot happening right there. That's, that's was, a lot. That's a lot to, it's so to much. break down. Well, yeah. uh, the, the, the singing is Portia. 
Uh, okay. My good friend and, and drag queen. Yes. Um, you know, when I had my talk show, Portia was my sidekick. Yes. yes. So this, uh, uh, we're, we're actually, it's a, it's a charity. <laughs> that, you know what I look like? It looks like if, if uh, Ike Turner had a baby with uh, Ringo Starr and made, <laughs> and made Sonny Bono. They look like Sonny Bono. But, um, yeah, so we were raising money for uh, breast cancer. Okay. And, and for our doctor's house. So, yeah. Whatever you got to do. Whatever I got to do. If you, you know, raising money for a charity. That's absolutely. right. Absolutely. And you look so fabulous. Oh, you turned... You. you too. Thank you so much. Like, 57, you turned 60, 60. this that's year. Right. You look... <laughs> you look... Thank so good. You. Thank you. Well, you know, they, they, they say black don't crack. Yeah. But, but, it's the infrastructure you got to worry about. Girl, I got I some leaks, Sherry. Oh, my gosh. I never thought being 60 would mean that I would have to spend so much time focusing on not farting. You know that? <laughs> you, you really have to... <laughs> I never thought... Like, you sit and you go... And, 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 cause if your mind wanders, <laughs> uh, and, it, and you're like, who do that? <laughs> Where that come from? <laughs> My kids all the time, you know we heard that, right? <laughs> 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 Oh, I didn't. Oh, that was so funny. Mine yeah. is. I'm walking and I go, what? Who's crackling paper? <laughs> when I was dropping it like it was hot, and then my knees was like, no, nah, bitch, stop. You can't do that. No more. No Crunch more. Your knees. It's yeah. enough. It's done. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I love it. Well, you look absolutely amazing. Well, thank this you. This is like. Um, it literally is like. It feels like this is your season. I don't know if you feel like this is this is your season now because you are killing the game. Okay. Do you feel like okay, I've accomplished everything I want to accomplish. I'm done. Uh, I I feel blessed. I feel yeah. blessed and highly favored. I there really you do. Go. And I don't. It's not uh, done. Now it's like I love like I love the like the show we're doing, the Upshaws. I love. That you know, we and by the way, you're killing people. it on the upshot. I love, you know, it's. I, I'm sure you feel the same. Like, don't you like you love looking around and you see people working and taking care of their families yes. and thriving. And so I, I love that I, I'm blessed with this talent and it gets to blossom and and, yeah. and feed other people. Yes. You know? Yeah. That's I have what to I say. Love. Uh, I watch you on the Upshaws. You have more sex with that cane. You be walking around <laughs> with that cane. You you be out uh -huh. there in the streets uh -huh. with, with the walking cane. with that cane. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you have blocked off your calendar to mm -hmm. focus on going on your comedy tour. Um, are you just like loving it? Cause that's usually a hard gig being on the road all the time. It is. So are you are you really loving it? I am. You know I. I because I, I've I've never stopped doing stand up, yeah. but usually it would I would work it in between okay. other projects and yeah. uh, oh I got a couple dates here let me go out, but this is the first time I dedicated a real tour and it's it's you know I I just love being out there being out with people and uh -huh. you know it's a grind it's a grind but uh, you know people are showing out you know selling out shows so this is yeah I'm I mean it. it's so great because you used to do comedy clubs and you sell you would sell out right. now you in theaters mm -hmm. you in you in arenas yeah. like how does that now, feel I to don't look about at... arenas oh, like, wait you in theaters ish theaters ish theater yeah exactly. exactly but just walking out there Wanda as opposed to seeing. 200 people in a comedy club. Now you're seeing I know. thousands of people. What is that feeling when you come oh, out? You, and they're there to see you. You feel the love, you know? That, yeah. that's, that's my favorite thing is like, at the end of the show, when I say thank you, they turn the lights up and I just see all these people out there. And it's just, yeah, I mean, it, it hits, it hits. And I, and I don't take it for granted at uh -huh. all. But then it's like, also you're like, whew. Thank goodness, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like you know, it. like, whoo, thank God y'all showed up. Okay. <laughs> Because every time thing? the lights come on, I'm like, uh-oh. It really, it, it, to me, it is a uh-oh moment. Like, let's see. Okay. Oh, okay, woo, they're here. You Thank throwing God. a party, yeah. are they coming? Right, right, exactly. Now, uh, unlike you, the men in my life, they do not like it when I talk about them on stage. The ex-husbands, I always get a subpoena going, like, stop <laughs> talking about sis and cease and desist. <laughs> but your wife, Alex, she oh, loves it when you talk God. about her. Does she get mad when you don't talk about her? Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs>
I, every time I, I either call her or whatever, you know, sometimes she's with me, she's like, uh, the day you talk about me in the show. <laughs> I was like, yes, love, I talked about you. She's like, oh, remember that time? I said, look, don't be, don't be pitching <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Now, oh my gosh! And then the kids, your kids now—they are 15 years old. Yes, they're 15 years old. And so I know that when I follow you, you guys are always in a different country. Like y'all travel everywhere. You went to Japan. What do you think we hide in the sun? We try. Yeah, <laughs> you y'all are everywhere. It's just like yeah, so, we were in Japan. Yeah. Do you, is that your wife or the kids that get you out of your comfort zone to travel all over um, the world? Alex, it, it's, it's totally Alex. Alex loves to go, go, go. I mean. When we get someplace, she talked about where we going next. I'm like, really? can we enjoy it here first? You know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like we went to Japan, and that that was amazing. That, yeah. I mean, that was like life changing. I love Japan, um, and you know, so she always wants to go places. Mm -hmm. But I told her my limit because she does get me out. But I told her my limit is camping. I ain't going camping with them. <laughs> I ain't going. Now, now tell me why you don't want to go camping. I ain't going with a, a, a white woman and two white kids out in the middle of the woods. <laughs> A bear. <laughs> I mean, anything could happen. Like, say, look, because first of all, you know, Alex don't, Alex don't care. Alex goes wherever she wants to go. So, right. so if we out in the, in the national park and it says, don't go this way, because uh, there's, there's, you know, bear or whatever, <laughs> Alex will go, oh, let's go see over here. She, <laughs> she will, she, yeah, go no, that no way. trespassing means nothing to her. <laughs> you know, she, she will go right there. And, and let's say we out in the woods and now we, we stumble upon oh, a bear. A bear. Now, now you know, I'm, the, I'm, I'm gonna have to fight the bear. I'm gonna have to be like, ah! I'm gonna have to make myself big so they can run. Yes. And while well, I gotta tussle with this bear. <laughs> and, and, and you know I have to do that because even though I can outrun all of them, yeah. I can't leave three white people in the woods. <laughs> and they get... And they get mauled by a bear exactly. and they come out unscathed. <laughs> and they be like, Wanda, what's wrong? I was like, my family, they got, they got uh, eaten by a bear. They would take my black ass straight to jail. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, bear, uh-huh, yeah, right, sure. <laughs> so no camping nope. for you, Wanda? Hell no. No, like, you, got, <laughs> you got the kids. Like I said, you got, you got Olivia, you got Lucas, 15 mm -hmm. years old. Now, Twins, right. Jeffrey uh -huh. is talking all of this G and Z slang that I don't understand. Gibberish. Are they talk, uh, is it gibberish, you? Gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, when they start doing it, what do you do? I'm so confused. I, I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea. I just look for the N word. That's all I'm like, <laughs> that's all I do. <laughs> it's whatever they blah, blah, blah. As long as I don't hear no N word, you, you they all can, right? They, can, they they good. Yeah. Okay, all right, Wanda. I think I peed on myself. <laughs> um, I got I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> so y'all, look up next. We're, as soon as I come from the bathroom, we're gonna <laughs> teach uh, Wanda. We're teaching Wanda how to speak her kids' language in a game called Gen Z versus Me. Okay. Don't miss it. All right. <laughs> We'll be right back. We are back with Wanda Sykes. Now, Wanda deals with two language barriers in her household. Last season, we quizzed Wanda in her wife's native language of French, and now it's time to test her knowledge of teenage slang in a game called Gen Z versus Me. Oh, boy. All right, okay, so Wanda, here's how it works. I'm gonna show you videos of my Gen Z staffers mm -hmm. using popular words that the kids say these days, and you have to guess the meaning. You ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know these words? No, I don't know the words. Okay, That's why I'm okay, quizzing right, you. Okay, I okay. don't know the words. All right. Oh my God. All right. So our first video comes from our production assistant Matt. Take a look. Okay. My mom's making lasagna this weekend. You know it's gonna be bussin'. Okay. So the word is bussin'. What do you think it means? The, it, it better be good, right? I, it I better be so. good. There you go. Good. good right. You got bussin'. it, Wanda. Okay. Right. So the next video comes from our executive assistant Annie. Take a look. Annie's so Delulu, she thinks every guy in the office is in love with her. Okay. They are. <laughs> All right, the word is Delulu. Delulu. What does that mean? 
You know, I had an aunt, the Lulu. Uh, no, uh, you had an aunt, the Lulu. No, the no, Lulu. Um, I, it's, it's a, it sounds like she's trying to say delusional, right? You, oh my God, you better than you think. Hello. Or it can mean Aunt Delulu. Uh, the next video comes from our production coordinator, Jackie. Take a look. Sabrina Carpenter was mewing all over the VMAs. Love that girl. Okay, so she was mewing, mewing. all over the VMAs. The mewing. word is mewing. What do you think mewing. it means? Mewing. Me well, mewing. I, cats mew, right? Cats meow. mew. Cats. Or they meow. Oh, meow. Yeah, they meow. Mewing. Mewing. Uh, all over the VMAs. All over the VMAs. She was mewing. Mewing all over the VMAs. Oh. Uh, that don't sound right. Sound like. <laughs> <laughs> so it it sounds kind of nasty. <laughs> <They're> like... <laughs> There should be a sign, no mewing. No like, mewing. Like, <laughs> like uh, uh, she, okay. I am. You, 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 know, you got to guess. I didn't know, but it means mewing is another word for smizing. That's what the hell is smizing? That's <laughs> Tyra Banks. You, Tyra Banks coined the word smize. You smile with your eyes. Smize. <laughs> Is that how you look with your kids when they're talking Wanda? <laughs> we got, we, we, huh? Okay, go ahead. All right. <laughs> so our next video comes. Oh, what's wrong with words? What's wrong with words? Wanda, I'm not a Gen Z -er. right, You gotta go ask ahead. them. Go ahead, go ahead. Girl, this one comes from our production assistant, Olivia. Take a look. Did you see Chaperone yell at that photographer? That's so brat. Okay, he yelled at a photographer. That was so brat. Okay, like a, a bratty thing. Like a bratty thing, like yeah. Like a bratty thing, Like right? a bratty thing, that's what you want to... That's, do. that's like... what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my gosh, it means unapologetically. Brat means unapologetic. You know, you know they but, try... But no, brat! Brat. That's, that's not what we call brat. That's Brats. not what we call... We, you actually, we actually is... say unapologetic. That's okay. what we say. Oh. Okay, so... Right, well. Uh, being unapologetic will get you some butt whippings in there. <laughs> I was growing up. When I was growing up. So our last video. Uh, but when I was growing up, being a brat uh, yes. or unapologetic would, would, would get you some mewing. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> and, 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 oh and my mom would be busting on that ass. <laughs> <laughs> you better show them how it's done, Wanda Sykes. Oh my gosh, you better show them how it's done. Now, this is our last video, Wanda. You are brilliant. This is from our talent associate, Ashley. Take a look. <laughs> Beyonce is my Roman Empire. I got sacred in my hair right now. Okay, so Beyonce is her Roman Empire. What do you think that means? She's my Roman Empire. That's like my, my leader, I, I guess. The, the Roman the, Empire. That's what I think, my, like the Roman my, Empire. Yeah, Take right? your part, yeah, so. My, what like is my Caesar? Are yeah, you know? absolutely right? Okay. All right. Okay, Wanda, you only got one wrong. I think one or two wrong. It was it, but you up on Gen Z. Well, I don't know if I should be proud of that or not. I don't. You said you don't know, know if you should be proud of it. I think you should be proud. Now you can understand That's your great. kids. Well, okay. Wanda, I want to say thank you so much for Thanks being for here on my premiere week. First Interstate Center for the Arts in Spokane, Washington. On October 10th, don't walk, run, and get tickets. And for more info on Wanda's Please and Thank You Tour, go to SherryShowTV.com. Up next, y'all, actress Jenny Garth is here. Keep it right here. Wanda Sykes! <laughs> Sherry will be right back. Yes, is an actress, a podcast host, and fashion designer. But we know her best is the iconic Kelly Taylor from Beverly Hills 90210. <laughs> now, Kelly, recent, excuse me, she recently launched a new fashion line with QVC called Me. Please welcome Jenny Garth. <laughs> I even, 
I'm such a fan, I even almost called you Kelly in the I think intro. I heard you call I me. I did, I, because I have to say, it's like, okay. well, I fan out because I, I don't think I've ever missed an episode of Beverly Hills 90210. Really? I loved it so much. Like, I grew up with y'all. Mm. So, Jenny, does it freak you out when people just, like, completely fan out on you? No, it, I, I f get freaked out because I think, oh, am I doing something weird? That's why they're looking at me weirdly? You right. know what I mean? Like, but no, I have, I'm so lucky. I have the most wonderful fans, like friends, fans, friends, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but I just love them so much and they've followed me through my whole career. Yeah. Their support keeps me going. I mean, people say that all the time, but it's so true. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be here without them. Oh my gosh, I love that. And I know that you attended a fan event recently and someone got a Kelly Taylor tattoo put on right in front of you. Like, what was that like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's a little weird. <laughs> I'm just, it, full honesty, um, it was actually an I Choose Me tattoo. Yeah. So I was actually, kind of proud that they were getting that message right. and then they were going to be able to see that every day. Uh -huh. um, but I've had people get um, my face tattooed or my my signature. Wow. Mm -hmm. But you didn't have to stand there and watch it because that's like just to watch it. Yeah, it's, it's nerve wracking. Oh my goodness. It's, you, it's a lot of pressure, you know, when you... When they put it... When, when they... I... They make me sign them. Really? And then they tattoo over my signature. Over your signature. Oh, that's love. Yeah. That is love. I'm going to tell you, you know, that is so wild. And I know that, you know, people have come here in the studio audience because they knew that you were coming and they were fans. They were fans of yours. And now that we're talking about, like, tattoos, is there any... Clap if you have a tattoo uh, of Jenny Garth uh, somewhere on your body. Cla it's two people clapping. It's two You're clapping, sir. You actually have a tattoo? What do you have? Can I see it? What do you like? Raise your. What does it say? <laughs> it's her. It's her signature. It's her signature. Oh my gosh! You know, and it's so funny because he's got the tattoo on his arm because your most famous line, Kelly's most famous line, mm -hmm. was "I choose me," mm -hmm. and "I choose me" is the name of your podcast. Mm -hmm. So what? What is the podcast about? Well, it is about just putting women, people, anybody that listens to it, into that mindset of. Choosing themselves, knowing yeah. that I'm always an option to put myself first yes. sometimes. Yes, yes. We need that. On your podcast, congratulations on your podcast. Did, okay, you did something very, very brave. You brought your ex-husband, you asked yeah. your ex-husband, mm -hmm. Peter Facinelli, to come on your podcast so that you guys could talk about your divorce. <laughs> now, I could see this going way left. Yeah. Were you nervous at all? Yes. Okay. I mean, because we were not, we, we didn't talk, yeah. you know, a, on a friend basis. We talked about the kids and we really only text each other okay. for about nine or ten years. Right. And, it, you know, we made it look like it was all rainbows and unicorns, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. And I just felt that it was right to be honest with people and let them know that we really struggled through that journey. And, you know, so many people are dealing with divorce and how do I get along with the co-parent with this person for the rest of right. my, my life, basically. You have to, you know, learn how to like that person again. And I think by doing the podcast, we talked for the first time about our real feelings. I know he certainly did. Like, right. I just, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Uh -huh. But I just said, I, I just gave him a mic and then he and you, started talking and, and about things I'd never heard. So how are you now? We are friends. Like, really? It did something. Girl. Yeah. The girls were so happy, too. Because I got to tell you, I've been married and divorced twice, and either one of those ex husbands will never get on the microphone no. with me. Mm -mm. I don't. I, but I understand. I, I, I understand. want to listen to your podcast because maybe there's something in there that I can do. Yeah. Because we don't talk, we text. Right, right. We yeah. text about Jeffrey. We don't, we don't talk. And it doesn't have to be that way. I mean, yeah. it, we have had the time, you know, to really go our separate ways and enjoy our both of our separate lives. And our girls are just such a uniting factor for right. us. We both love them so much. Okay. So it feels natural. Now we just worked out together the other day, you know, like. Okay. For, I'm right. not kidding. Well, you're going a little too far for me, but, <laughs> I, but 
I'm gonna work on that just trying to talk. Thank you for that inspiration. Uh, I love this. You, you, you keep reinventing yourself. And I'm a fan of yours on QVC because I got a lot of your Christmas ornaments, you mm -hmm. and Tori Spelling. But you also have a clothing line out on mm -hmm. QVC mm -hmm. and it's called Me. So how is that? Like, what inspired you to have a clothing line and call it Me out of all <laughs> things? Uh, well, that's me measuring someone there. <laughs> it's a very glamorous life. Um, well, you know, the opportunity came. I was in a place in my life where I didn't know what was next for me. I was right. entering into the new 50s chapter, and I honestly, I couldn't get a job. Like, no jobs were coming my way, and I yeah. didn't have the ambition or drive to go find them. Yeah. And so I just decided it was time to pivot and um, put my attention somewhere else and get, let my creativity flourish. And this has been so rewarding. And uh, you, we just launched, it's called Me by Jenny Garth. We just launched on QVC uh -huh. on, uh, in July. And I just did our third drop uh, last, a couple days ago. So. Thank you. Yeah. It's so, I just wanna ask you because when you talk about, when you talk about being 50, that's a hard age. Especially mm -hmm. those of us, we are in Hollywood mm -hmm. and especially people who who got you in at Kelly and they've locked you in at that age. Mm -hmm. So to be turning 50, mm -hmm. it's how did you get to be okay with that? Mm -hmm. That it mm -hmm. that I don't I don't want to say you've embraced it, but you're okay with being 50. I mean, what do I have another option? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, because when I turned 50, it was one of the worst days of my life. Oh, I no. felt like, oh God, everything is over. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get any roles anymore. Mm -hmm. And my friend made a book of people in my life and they had a picture and they wrote a letter to me of what I meant to them. Mm. And I realized, you know what? Being 50, I'm here to keep inspiring yes, people. Yes. Like it's not a doomsday. Mm -hmm. Sentence. Yes, absolutely. And I think that that's one of the cool things about this whole I choose me thing that I'm doing. Yeah. And by offering women, you know, clothing that they can feel co confident in themselves. It's a, helps them make that first choice in the morning where they think about how do I want to look today? Yes. How do I want to feel? Yes. I love it. Jenny, thank you. And you gave me a denim jacket. Thank you from your line. Y'all, make sure you listen to Jenny's podcast, I Choose Me. I'm going straight to the one with you and your ex-husband and see what y'all were talking about. And Jenny's QVC clothing line, Me by Jenny Garth, is available right now. And we'll be right back. Jenny Garth. Want to get away? Go to SherryShowTV.com and enter the word of the day for your chance to win a real good time getaway. This has been a great premiere week and so much has happened. So now it is time for Aaron and Reshma to go head to head in a game of Sherry Showdown. Okay. All right. So Aaron and Reshma, I'm going to ask a question. Now, if you know the answer, then just grab the S. But then the first person to grab gets to answer. But let me finish the question first, okay? Mm. And when you hear this sound. Hey, family. That means that the game is over. All right, are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay, here we go. Now, on my season premiere, what gift did Mary J. Blige give me? Oh. Boots. She gave me oh, all, that's right. All right, Boots is the answer. Now, which artist did Nelly Furtado make a play? All right. <laughs> um, uh, Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott, that's it, okay. On my premiere episode, what talent did I try during the It's Never Too Late thing? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ooh, oh, ooh, oh. Juggling. Juggling, that was it. Okay, here we go. Which Oscar winning actress challenged me to a hula hoop off this week? Lu Lu Luda De Leon. Not, not Lu Luda. Lu Luda, Lupta. Lu oh, 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 wait, okay, we gotta go to the next question. We got, it was Lupita. It was Lupita Nyong'o, oh, I know. Okay, what is Governor Gretchen Whitmer's nickname? Hot, uh, hot Gretchen. Hot not Gretchen. Hot Gretchen. Gre no, it's Ooh, Big Red. Okay, all right. A confetti cannon went off when I announced I was gonna get a Hall of Fame walk star. Yeah, the Hall of Fame walk That's star. That's it. Star on the Hall of Walk. Okay. <laughs> okay. A hot delivery man stopped by this week and brought you, me a package. What? UPS. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> hey, okay. family. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me go to my blood pressure. Aaron, you got more answers correct, so you win. <laughs> Correct. You win a 55-inch Roku Pro Series TV, oh which will turn your living room into a cinematic landscape. And 
and I want you to enjoy watching the Sherry Show in stunning 4K resolution. Oh my God, and thank you. Bridgman, and, and, and for coming in second place, you are getting a $100 cash gift card. Okay. So thank you both for playing, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back. So we've received thousands of entries for a real good time getaway, and I hope you were one of them. Now, in case you missed it, this week's trip is to the beautiful Fair Mayacoba in Mexico. Take a look. Get ready to soak up the sun in beautiful Riviera Maya, Mexico. We'll fly you and a guest to this tropical paradise for a five-night, all-inclusive stay at the prestigious AAA Five Diamond Fairmont Mayacopa. Experience the perfect blend of luxury and adventure with breathtaking beach and lagoon casitas, thrilling water sports, soothing spa treatments, and an incredible jungle meat sea golf course. This getaway is sure to be a real good time, and it's valued at over $8,000. Make sure you go to SherryShowTV.com to enter the word of the day for your chance to win this week's Real Good Time Getaway. We'll be right back. Sherry, we'll be right back. Great season three premiere week, and we have more fun things coming all season long. We got more great shows next week. Some of the people coming by are Alyssa Milano, Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg, my bestie Niecy Nash Betts, and Raven Simone. So join us then for the best time in daytime. Bye bye.